Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to HemingwayLand.com, your source for quality, affordable land in the states of New Mexico and Hawaii. This is our preview, our weekly preview of all the properties going live on the website for tomorrow, Friday, June 19th, 2020. Before I get to that, as always, I want to thank all the people who bought land from us this past week. That list includes Carl from Socorro County, Sandra bought some property from us in Taos County, Peter picked up one of our new Black Mesa properties in Rio Reba County, and Monique purchased not one but to Luna County properties. So thank you to all of those people. Um, so this week, new properties. We have, uh, you know, I do not like to mix counties and states. Uh, I do not like to debut like three really awesome properties in one week because then invariably two of them barely get noticed, uh, etc. So this week we're going to concentrate on 20 new properties, a bulk acquisition that we have in everybody's favorite, Baboom, Socorro County. Now, 20 new properties. Uh, you'll notice that we have updated this right here to reflect that uh, the new properties are of larger acreage. Some of them are of larger acreage. I will save you the scrolling and simply say that of the 20 new properties, we have three that are a combination of adjacent lots. They're down here, the bottom row of Socorro County. We've got a two acre for 2,500. We've got a three acre for 3,750. And we've got a four acre for $5,000. Of course, these are all combinations of uh, adjacent acreage, two adjacent lots, three adjacent one acre lots, four adjacent one acre lots, so on and so forth. Whatever the case, most of what's going live this week are all one acre lots. That being said, these are the rare finds, the things we rarely ever come upon, and they tend to sell pretty quickly, uh, the adjacent acreage. So if you come to our master Rio Grande Estates listing page, you scroll down, you can come here to the spreadsheet, bring them all up here on the spreadsheet. You will see that the new properties are a little further down. Uh, we're in units three, four, and five right now uh, with new properties. Uh, or actually, most of these are in three and five. We've got, I think, one new one in, in unit four. Uh, but point being, if you were to uh, come back here, scroll down to the bottom of the page, and look at a plat map, you would see that three, four, and five were venturing, venturing a little further north of the Highway 60 down here. Three, four, and five are in basically the middle of the subdivision. So less access to power. There's fewer homesteads out there. There's more privacy. Uh, you know, if you're going to be building out there, you're probably going to want to do something solar. I think there's one or two of these properties that have uh, pretty close proximity to power. One of them is the uh, the four acre property. Uh, some of them over here in uh, are over here in the what do you call it? Yes, western part of the subdivision, close to the more developed regions out here. Whatever the case, we will have the spreadsheet updated tonight with all the reference numbers. Click any one of them. It will take you to their respective listing pages. Or for those of you who actually bother to read this FAQ that we wrote, you will see that we have updated it here. Where is it at? There we go. Are any of your lots adjacent? Why, yes, we have a few that are adjacent. But boom, and then you could click the respective links and be taken immediately to the two acre, the three acre, and the four acre properties listing pages, etc. Um, so that is what is new this week. Uh, we should also add that in San Juan County, we had SJM 6313 fall out of escrow this past week. Person put down an earnest money deposit. We went into escrow with them, and uh, then basically they revealed that they did not have all of the money. So Point being, people, this one's new. It's back up on the website. Click Learn More. It'll take you to the listing page, and you can watch a video where I blather on at great length about how much I like this region. I do genuinely like this region because you're really close to the Navajo Marina, which is the second largest body of water in the state, as well as you're in a place where there are zero, zero planning and zoning laws. Uh, so as far as restrictions, there are none. You want to come out here. You want to build a tiny home, a shipping container home, put down a mobile home. Uh, etc. You will not meet the normal resistance that you typically meet. Additionally, this property is right off uh, County Road 4050, uh, so it's got good road access. It's a, um, as I recall, yes, as I recall, the property is, uh, it's one of these where it's not too densely forested, not too rocky. You get a lot of these properties close to the marina that have this kind of rocky terrain. This one is not like that. Uh, etc. Also, it's got power pretty close by, I think about a tenth of a mile from the property lot line. And of course, selling the five acres, roughly five acres for 15,000, puts it well below all like type comps within San Juan County. Five acre properties are usually um, high 20s, low 30s. You'll see some of them for $40,000 close to the marina. So this one at 15,000 is, uh, is a really good bargain. Uh, of course, we've got a bajillion photos here in the gallery. We've got a drone video down here of the property. Uh, we've got a video here where we talk at great length about how it's not just a seasonal property, good for the months around the marina, but also for the winter months because it's close to Taos, it's close to Telluride, etc. So uh, there's a lot to like about this property. The other one that we had out there, the one that was actually pretty close to this, not adjacent, but pretty close, that one sold in like, I don't know, a day. And then when that one sold, this one uh, got marked pending. 
Um, but I had a lot of you reach out to me at that point. Uh, say, I actually had one guy say, I'll pay you $1,000 more for it, which, okay. Uh, anyway, so uh, hopefully it will generate the same interest that it generated a few weeks ago now that it is back up on the website. Take the time to review that. It's a really good property. Anyway, and please, uh, you know, by the way, guys, because a lot of you will call me all the time about these Rio Grande properties. Do you have adjacents? Are there anything adjacents? We finally got some adjacents, the two-acre, the four-acre, the three-acre, etc. cetera. Uh, you know, if, if you're interested in adjacents, I would, uh, I would take a look at these sooner rather than later because these things tend to go quickly. All right, with all that said, guys, thanks for watching the video. We'll be back next week with a whole bunch of new properties uh, coming out of escrow. Until then, have a great weekend.